do you count uh, misses and saves, or how did you kind of view that? that <laughs> Um, as, goal, okay, as goalkeepers, we usually, we usually do. We think that if we can force someone to miss the frame, then we we always say that in training. It's like, oh, that counts as safe. So I mean, honestly, I don't really care because as long as he saved, uh, he missed it, and and our guys were freaking clinical today. Like, I mean, if that doesn't give you confidence, then um, really nice to see. So. And then that also, you know, with the way that they did approach it, um, you know, obviously anybody would get excited after a little it's, it's is, but um, what does that kind of do for you, like going into a penalty um, shootout like that and seeing your guys do, you know, do you build up more, you know, confidence, I guess, for yourself? Yeah, I think so. I mean, we've been practicing PKs for a while this year. I mean, we had Leaks Cup. Um, we were practicing extensively there, uh, Open Cup as well. Um, and now we, just, we knew that, you know, PKs was possibly going to be um, coming our way at some point in the playoffs, so we started that already again too. So we, uh, this year is probably the m most PKs we've practiced um, in, in any given year. So, um, but it, it's different, right? You, you practice PKs and you start. We start knowing where our own players go and do they change it up? It's the sa it's not it's not the same thing, right? And so it's a do or die moment um, in front of a crowd and your heart starts racing. It's not the same as at Long Acres after a one hour training session. So, um, but man, kudos to our guys because um, probably frustrating for us to uh, uh, find ourselves going to PKs, um, but then to really uh, focus and and uh, and deliver like that is is, is amazing. I mean. Uh, playoffs are on a nice edge there, right? You know, you go into it now, uh, up a game, and feeling good about yourself. So, um, could have gone the other way. So, but that's playoffs. Do you, you know, do any, re do you do any research on the Houston players with their penalty styles? No, we, we never do any research. <laughs> <laughs> of course we do. Um, no, we we looked at PKs for probably four days. Um, to be fair, Bossy is their number one taker. Herrera a little bit, so they're missing two guys that, that are most likely would, would be taking PKs. Um, and out of the other ones, um, two of them end up going where we scouted. Um, one of them misses. Um, the other one was uh, another one that, yeah, had a good one. But uh, yeah, sometimes it's difficult. But again, if, 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 if we have guys who step up confidently, then. Um, um, it's it's it's, it's, good. It's, it's it's good to see. It gives me confidence too. Um, if we go into it again, I think um, I go into it uh, maybe a half an inch taller, than knowing that our guys will um, will deliver again. You know, in, a, in the way this is structured, a win's a win. It doesn't really matter yeah. how you get it. But uh, do you take more away from that you guys really didn't allow them much offensively, or is there some? Uh, introspection that you have to do over the for all the shots you guys created there wasn't really a whole lot of really dangerous looks either yeah I mean I, I I'm a firm believer that when when things are going well or you find results that, that's the time where you can be excited about the result but also maybe a bit critical and uh, hopefully people are more receptive of criticism um, and in today's uh, when you look at it in that way, I think it's the perfect game for us because it comes early in the playoffs. We're playing a good game, and then I think we kind of lose our heads a little bit, um, and we, in my opinion, almost revert into some bad habits that that we struggle with in the beginning of the season. With, um, I mean, you guys have the stats, but for me, it looked like we had 30, 40 crosses to nobody, um, and so that is, you know, when you. When you're exuberant and you're you're you want to do things, it's great. You need that. You need that um, youth. Um, but 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 we need to use our head as well and and, and make sure that we um, remember what 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 drives our success um, and that we've been able to show over the last I think few months um, that we've been able to find. Um, so in in that in that way, I think it's the perfect game for us um, because we're going to be able to, be able to look at it be able to look at it critically um, because we did get the result and we are up uh, up a game but um, knowing that we can do some things better um, um, in, in, in making sure a game like that doesn't go down the PKs. Is there any extra peace of mind that you get from this game knowing that worst case scenario you have another game here? Yeah, um, I think we want to finish it in two if you can. Um, I don't, like, I don't like the structure of the playoffs, the first round in particular. You know, I think I think when we're trying to find em find emphasis on on meaning of season, 
let's make it a one game. Let's make it a one game where it's do or die, and you you you've gained your advantage by by being able to play that game at home. Um, you know, you you can lose the first game 5-0 and then still tie two games and go to win both PKs, and now you're going through. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's I don't know. I don't like that. It's just. It's it, it's quality over quantity for me. I wish there was one game and it's I mean, second second stage and on it will go like that, right? But um, we'll we'll try to be clinical and, and go to Houston and have a game plan and, and hopefully get a result. You and uh, last Alex couple for staff had a, guys. Uh, good moment after he made his penalty kick. What kind of what happened there? I guess. Yeah, you know I think I'm just I'm just the closest guy, um, so um, try to get a hold of him. Um, and, 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 and feel the joy um, before everybody else catches up. Um, just, yeah, they're, they're big moments, right? Because, like I said, the, the playoffs, uh, the result is on a nice edge. You can fall either way. And for us to be so clinical, and then last guy has to step up, even more pressure on, and, and delivers big time. So uh, it does uh, does our confidence well. Was there any conversation between you and Steve Clark during the shootout? I saw the two of you getting a bit close in between. Uh, no, no, not during the shootout. So it was, it was before that he was a bit. I think he was excited for the shootout, so he needed someone to yell at. But <laughs> it's it's fine. I'm, I'm, I, I can be that guy if he needs me to be. But um, just happy that our guys were focused um, and um, and delivered on what uh, what they needed to do. Real, real quick, Last uh, one. Jack, you know, uh, during Jackson's uh, before Jackson's take, uh, Steve came out and looked like he was. Making like I don't know he didn't like where you were. Or what was going on there? Uh, I don't know if you can speak to it. Uh, I, I don't know. Maybe I was in his in his view or something. I asked the referee before and hey, do you want me to be on the left and him on the right or what do you want? And he said both of them just both of you guys just go over to that side. He didn't really make it specific as to exactly where our little box was, but did, didn't face Jackson so.